It's giving body yaddy yaddy. Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. It's actually very much not a sunny day. It is it's very gloomy today randomly, which actually works out perfect because I am at the Rose Bowl flea market and my goodness going to the Rose Bowl flea market when it's like 90 degrees and like honestly even if it's just sunny like it's it's kind of brutal. I am meeting Carrie and Evelyn to go to the flea market. Um, I don't have too much like expectations of like what I'm wanting to find. Again, very much in line with my Pinterest board. I think I do want to find some like loose t-shirts that are black. I feel like I randomly don't own a lot of black long t-shirts. It's mainly white, which you know I like, but maybe a Harley Davidson t-shirt. Definitely red gingham is always number one on the list. And just tops. I do not want to buy any jeans, shorts, potentially maxi skirts I will that that is a maybe that I will be looking out for I'm just excited to go through everything I haven't been to the Rose Bowl flea market since I think November of last year so yeah it's a massive massive flea market it happens once a month and let's let's go in <laughs> So we are first gonna go over basically with the Rose Bowl, like there's, I don't know how to explain it. I'm not explaining it very well, but there's a bridge and over the bridge is where most of the clothing, it's usually the area that I go to the most just because yeah, it has the most clothing, t-shirts, different types of clothing as well, not just t-shirts, like different vintage like dresses, florals, lingerie, and all of that jazz. So we are gonna just start over there. It was surprisingly pretty empty when we originally got here. As you see, it's more of a gloomy day. I think it had rained a little bit and gosh darn, rain to Southern California people is like a tornado. So it was actually quite nice. Usually at this point it would be like jam packed, but there weren't that many people. This is our favorite stand, it's here every single time at the Rose Bowl. I think it was also at the Long Beach flea market as well. They just have boxes of palettes of different categories of clothing. It reminds me of like the Goodwill outlet if the Goodwill outlet was actually categorized. And I mean, it is technically a little bit more expensive as well. This top, my gosh, Evelyn, just like she is the Disney second hand clothing whisperer. Like she just always finds the best Disney. Carrie and I were like, like all into the lingerie palette just because I had gotten my black slip skirt at this stand but at the Long Beach flea market and so we were like we have to go again okay I'm gonna try some of the I pieces on the yeah. lighting is so bad it's because terrible. it's just like so bright yeah. I first found this I'm gonna try it on I don't know though the only thing is like where the slit is it kind of opens up right there but it's not see-through at all which I feel like is pretty <laughs> rare mm. It does not look as good on. No. This one is just okay. I don't know. I'm not in love with it. So adorable. And then I found, I don't know if I'm gonna get this, but I need to see it. Oh, amazing. Where the cows go? I don't even know what that means, but I like weird sweaters. No, that is so cute. We were probably in there for okay, about like 30 or like an hour, honestly. I feel like we all kind of blacked out just going through all the lingerie. I ended up, I think getting like four pieces. We all ended up getting a bunch of pieces. So I feel like it was it was worth it. I think for four pieces, I got it for $25, so pretty good. Now we're just gonna keep on going through. I really, really want to find more Harley tees. I had seen one, but it wasn't a 3X, so I ended up leaving it. 
and oh, some really cool race car jackets. Okay, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Let's let's keep going. Like I said, it's Depop in real life, which means Depop prices. I think those jackets were like over a hundred dollars. But the next thing we ended up going to were these shoes. Usually I don't pay too much attention to shoes at the Rose Bowl. I just, you know, usually don't have luck, but my goodness, look at these cowboy boots. I have these green pair and then this pink pair and I was trying to decide which one I was liking. I just felt like they were so unique and I was able to try them on, which I feel like with cowboy boots, I really need to try it on before I buy it just to figure out sizing. But I'll let you know which one I ended up getting later. This next stand was adorable. You could really, really tell that the seller put in a lot of time and effort, not only with the pieces that they had, but just creating, you know, the space, the vibe. Look at that cardigan. That is the most beautiful thing ever. Also this jacket, absolutely gorgeous. I tried on this skirt and another skirt and was trying to decide between both of them. But again, you will see what I ended up getting. I mean, come on, those jeans, I think they were $189 though. But you know, we can enjoy them from afar. This Betty Boop leather jacket, so cute. I didn't even ask how much it was because I didn't even want to know. But then you also have these random like bins that will say $5. We found this Winnie the Pooh tee, but it had so many stains, like not even a couple, but so many that like truly you wouldn't have been able to get it out. Uh, I don't know why, but like I've just been kind of wanting one. I think it's like influenced by probably TikTok of people I've seen it with, but this one does have a stain on it, sadly, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's giving body yaddy yaddy. I was also on the hunt for some sort of baby tea. I loved the drama queen one, but it did have some armpit stain, so I ended up not getting it. That, oh my gosh, me just looking over the footage, I'm obsessed with that vest. I believe the material was like super, super itchy. This stand was so cute. Again, very curated, very cutesy. This next stand, all the clothing is $6, so pretty awesome, kind of similar to the palette one that yes, you have the more expensive vintage places, but you also have stands, and this one's like massive too, where everything is only $6. Again, Evelyn finding all the Disney somehow. This Betty Boop top was really cute. I really want a Betty Boop t-shirt so bad that sweet dreams. If it was in like a different size, I would have gotten it. This Betty Boop top was very tempting, but I hated the V-neck. I just, I don't know, it's, eh, no. I, I love the graphic, but the V-neck was just putting me off. This stand has all the Disney overalls. I've gotten some Winnie the Pooh overalls from them and it's just so good. I was not potentially going to get anything, but I was, I was influenced by all the cute overalls that they did have. I mean, th is this not my heaven? We've been here for about four hours, which is crazy. And I feel like we kind of feels all... like it. Yeah, no, point. it definitely <laughs> does. Like my feet are, you know, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. But I feel like we all found like really yeah, another, like, nice, interesting yes. pieces and unique pieces. And even like pricing wise, I feel like there was anything like super insane no, no, no. as well. So that's good, but yeah, we are now going to head home and the next clip will be showing you everything I got. Alrighty, it is the next day and I feel like overall, this was a really great Rose Bowl trip. I just feel like I got a lot of unique, interesting pieces. I last did not find any uh, red gingham or at least like pieces that I liked that was red gingham. Prices wise were pretty good. Obviously I didn't go to every single booth, but I just feel like a lot of things were ranging from 20 to $40. There are some highlighted pieces that ended up going a little bit over that. Yeah, okay, let's just get into it. I would love to blab. The first piece is this floral little skirt. Now, it's not a midi necessarily length, but it's also not a mini length. So it's probably more midi than mini. I, I don't hate midi lengths, I, I really don't. I was just saying in my like unpopular opinions video that I just, I just wish there were more maxis at the thrift store lengthwise when it came to skirts because there just like really isn't. But anyway, this skirt 
fit me so well. I was going back and forth between this skirt and a different floral one. The other floral one was a little bit longer. I even put both of them on to show Evelyn to help me decide. And originally when she saw the longer version, she was like, you should get that. And then I tried this one on because I was like, wait, no, but I really want this one. And it kind of showed like, if you were willing to fight for the other piece to like change the other person's mind on which one you should get, then that means that that's the one they should get. So, but I tried this one on and she was like, oh yeah, I totally see like what you're saying. You should go with this one. So I did. I ended up getting it for $25. It's from this, I believe, secondhand seller, So Bunny Cute. I think they do have a Depop account. I'll have linked whatever they do have in the description because they had beautiful, beautiful stuff. Next, I got all of these at the stand with the palettes. That stand is always there and they have, you know, big cardboard boxes, palettes of just different categories. I mean, it is it is a struggle and a challenge to go through them, but when you end up finding stuff, feels like you've put in the work. I did end up getting all four of these, I think for $25. So I feel like that is pretty good. The first thing is this black slip skirt. This one is also kind of like a midi skirt in a way. Again, I don't hate midi lengths. I feel like I should have made that more clear. But anyway, this one I really loved because the details at the bottom, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it's just a really nice kind of floral pattern. It hits, I think I remember like by my knees. And as you saw in my Long Beach flea market, I think I had gotten that maxi black slip skirt and I love it. I just wanted to find one that was a little bit shorter. It is completely see-through. Like it, it is see-through. I can see absolutely everything, but same thing with my longer black slip skirt. I've been able to just wear black bike shorts under it. And I feel like you can't really notice. Also, I like to wear them with long t-shirts, so you can't even like see my butt anyway. The only thing is this one, I think it did have, did it, it has this like random, I don't know if you'll be able to see, probably not, but there were some like crusty stuff on it. Even after I washed it, it was like the crusties were stuck to the skirt. Maybe it's because of the material. There's just like a small kind of like white-ish, not super white, I don't think anyone will notice, but yeah, little dot. A another skirt I ended up getting is this blue one. I mean, come on, look at that lace at the bottom. I don't know why I've been thrifting blue lately. I wouldn't say it's like my favorite color. I don't hate it, but I just feel like it's a random color that I seem to be thrifting a lot lately. This one actually really stuck out to me because it's not as see-through as the black one. I mean, you can still, you know, slightly see stuff, but it's a little bit thicker. Again, I'll probably just wear a long t-shirt with it. I also got this little like lacy top. I really loved the bow and kind of the red and black just seems so breathable. And I think it's just the cutest thing. I could see it with the black slip skirt even that I ended up getting. This one is originally from MW Collection. I don't think, yeah, those other ones didn't have a name brand. They had a lot of Victoria's Secrets also in that palette. I then got a crew neck and it just, it was so cute. Evelyn originally, she was going through this massive palette of crew necks and finding just so much Disney and so many amazing pieces, but she had picked this up and decided not to get it. And I was like, I need this. It says where the cows are and it's got some cows on it. They look very fun. They're having a good time. I also tried it on and it was really comfy and just the perfect size and everything. And I mean, come on, come on, look at it. Look at how amazing that is. I'm actually surprised that like puffy paint. Oh, I guess there's only just like this little um, note that's coming off. I ended up not getting any Harley Davidson. I, I found some Harley Davidson t-shirts, but nothing that was like getting me, but I had seen this and it reminds me of a Harley Davidson top, but since it is not a Harley Davidson top, it was cheaper. And it is this motorcycle t-shirt that says born to ride. And it just looked great. It looked quite comfy. I just love the way that it looked. Yeah, it's just a great graphic t-shirt. It was exactly what I was wanting to find when I said I wanted like black graphic tees, like Harley Davidson t-shirts. The last time I went to the Rose Bowl flea market 
we had gone to this one stand where it's a bunch of overalls and specifically Winnie the Pooh and Disney overalls. So obviously we had to go back. And originally I didn't think I was going to get any just because I have two Winnie the Pooh short overalls and like, I love them. And of course, I could use more, but because I was wearing pants, I was like, I wouldn't be able to try them on. And I just feel like I would end up getting something that didn't fit me right. And yeah, I just didn't want to make a, you know, thrift regret, which who could regret some Winnie the Pooh overalls. Evelyn and Carrie were going through all of the racks of Winnie the Pooh overalls. I, I was influenced and I started to go through them and started finding really cute stuff. Then I think it was Evelyn who had picked up these overalls and they are lawn overalls, which I don't have any Disney lawn overalls. So I felt like it made sense for me to get. And I ended up trying them on on top of my pants and they fit me great. They are these Eeyore overalls. I actually used to own Eeyore overalls a couple of years ago, but they were in this purple color and I just felt like I never wore them because they were like just not the color for me. Whereas these are denim and they just fit me amazing. I love them so much. I'm going to wear them all the time. They're so cute. They were originally asking for 75 for them, but they ended up going down to $60. The last item I ended up getting, they're so cute and I'm so happy I had gotten them, which are these green cowboy boots. I mean, look at how fun these are. I'm not sure what brand. They are a size 10 and they fit me amazing. Oh, JB Dylan. They seem like a really good summer cowboy boot. Some of my other ones just I mean, I'm still gonna wear them, but th this, I just feel like I could wear with some shorts. I, I can, I can, and I will wear them with absolutely everything. They were $75, but they do have a square toe, which is definitely my preferred kind of toe when it comes to boots. I just feel like, I don't know, I, I like them the best on me personally. And with them being green, like just so fun. The actual color of the brown, like is still a nice deep brown. Whereas the pink ones I tried on were just like super, super worn. And also these just fit me better. I was not planning on getting any shoes, especially like cowboy boots, but I saw them and I, I had to get them. That was everything that I ended up getting at the Rose Bowl flea market. Ever since I went back in November or December, whenever I originally went and just like every single month, something had come up, but I'm so happy we were able to go and I'm so excited for all of these pieces. I just feel like lately, things that I've been thrifting have just been so good. If you like thrifting and secondhand fashion, then make sure to subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is alexsunshine83. I'll see you in my next video and I hope you have a super sunny day. Bye.